The NHIH-3 Calibri was a small helicopter developed in the Netherlands in the 1950s by Nederlandse Helicopter Industry. The Nederlandse Helicopter Industry was a Dutch helicopter manufacturer. The company was founded in 1955 as a commercial successor of the Stichting voor de Ontwikkeling en Bouw van een Experimenteel Hefschroef de Lietwig. From 1951 on, SOBEH developed and built two helicopters, the H-1 and H-2. After having met its goal of developing a helicopter, SOBEH ceased activities. Further development and serial production were granted to the newly formed NHI. This was a joint venture between aircraft manufacturer Aviolanda and truck company Kromhout. NHI quickly came forward with an improved design, called the H-3 Calibri. This helicopter was powered by ramjets at the ends of the blades and made its first flight in May 1956. The Certificate of Airworthiness, based on U.S. requirements for rotorcraft, was issued in March 1958. During its existence, NHI was confronted with parent companies in trouble. Kromhout ceased building trucks in 1958 due to stiff competition from DOF. It kept building engines and finally the company was taken over by Stork BV as a result, Kromhout gave up its partnership in 1959. Finally in 1961 production ceased due to a lack of orders. The failure of NHI was only a contributing factor to the liquidation, as Aviolanda and Fokker were having hard times. Aviolanda depended heavily on licensed production of foreign designs, which made the business uncertain. Fokker was having troubles by that date with the slow-selling F.27 Friendship. It had a duraluminium tube superstructure, an open cockpit and an undergear of metal skids. The design is typical of ultralight helicopters of the period, being powered by tip jets, two ramjets, one at the tip of each rotor blade. The small tail rotor, powered by the motion of the main rotor, was necessary only for yaw control since the tip jets eliminated the need for an anti-torque force. The ramjets could burn multiple types of fuel, giving the helicopter a certain versatility. The Kromhout designed and built ramjets generated 0.196 kN thrust and made a complex gearbox unnecessary. Later, Aviolanda built ramjets generated 0.226 kN thrust. In order to start the ramjets, a small 1.5 kW auxiliary power unit spun the main rotor to 70 revolutions per minute, at which point the ramjets could be ignited. Variants with skis, flotation devices, and medical evacuation stretchers were developed and tested, but these versions were never produced. After developing a crop duster version, the H3 was mainly marketed for that purpose. Subassembly took place at Aviolanda which built the fuselage and at Kromhout which built the engines. Fokker, a subcontractor to NHI, built the rotor blades. Final assembly took place at the newly opened Rotterdam airport. The initial production run counted 10 helicopters of which the first three were used for development, testing and airworthiness tests. The second production run of 10 helicopters was to be undertaken by Aviolanda after Kromhout left the joint venture. This second production run was to be equipped with an uprated ramjet. It is unsure whether the improved ramjet was ever produced. Although the H3 was considered to be a technical success, it was never successful commercially. Despite its low acquisition price, the project became a failure. First, the Hiller O-23 Raven was provided to the Royal Netherlands Air Force by the United States free of charge, under the Mutual Defense Assistance Pact. Second, NHI's two most important designers, Jan M. Dries and Gerard F. Verhage, left the company, which never recovered. Third, the ramjets not only required a great deal of development to make them viable for production, but potential buyers regarded them as unsafe. Fourth, the extraordinary fuel consumption of the ramjets made the helicopter uneconomical to operate. Flight time and range were quite limited, making the helicopter unattractive for commercial or military use. Finally, the ramjets were incredibly loud. During testing, complaints were filed by people living over 5 kilometers away from the test site. Overall, nine H3s were built between 1958 and 1959 by NHI at Rotterdam Airport when Kromhout was still a parent company. Aviolanda built another two H3s at their Papendrecht plant. The few production models were mainly exported to Israel, Germany, the UK and Netherlands New Guinea. The remaining examples that are known of are to be found at the Aerospace Museum Aviadrome. There is also one at the Luchtvaart and Orlogsmuseum at Texel Airport on the island of Texel.